Hello, everyone. My name is Marcos. I am Professor Marcos Santos, and I teach at Military Institute of Engineer, and I coordinate the activities of uh, Operational Research House. I have a YouTube channel called Operational Research House. And today I'm gonna I'm gonna explain and gonna talk about the operational research. And the mainly question is what is operational research? Then let's let's talk about uh, this idea operational research and I am, let's understand uh, how can I use uh, operational research to make better decisions. So let me share my screen. And this is a big question. What is operational research? So here you can see my, my resume and I've been working in the Navy, in the Navy, Brazilian Navy. I've been working in the Brazilian Navy since 1994. Uh, so 28 years, almost 30 years. And I studied at Navy Academy and I, I studied my master degree at uh, Rio de Janeiro Federal University. And I, I studied my, my PhD degree at Federal Fluminense University and my postdoctorate in space science and technology at Aeronautics Technology Institute. And today I teach advanced mathematics at Military Institute of Engineer. I teach um, data science and analytics at Sao Paulo University. And I am a member of board of directors of the operational Brazilian Operational Research Society. So, first at all, I would like to recommend these two books about operational research. Uh, the first one is Introduction to Operational Research, writing by Ilian and Lieberman. I, I have been uh, using this book for many years, I think 20 years with my students in all levels. This book is so good and it explained the theorems step by step. And, uh, and many times we can uh, study about different methods in, in this book. So I suggest these two really good books. 
for you. So let's get started. I visited this website, the Operational Research Society website. You can visit it. Uh, this website www.theorsociety.com. And why I visited this website? Because the OR Society is the mainly the main operational society of the world. When the Second War finished, uh, the scientists, uh, the scientists, how can I say, uh, started to study another problems, uh, another problems with the, the methods uh, they, that they use, use it in the war. So the Operational Research Society is the biggest and the main society about operational research all around the world. And we can see the definition about operational research. So here we have the, the question. What, what is operational research? Operational research is a scientific approach to the solution of problems in the managing, management of complex systems that enables decision makers to make better decisions. So, this is the big, the greatest idea, better decisions. We can use math, you can, we can use expressions to make better decisions. This is the, great, the greatest idea about operation, operational research. And in another class, I will present it. I will talk about complex systems. This is another subject. Very important. Every time that we will work with mathematical modeling, we will modeling, we will talk about complex systems. So, but I I will talk about the subject another in another moment. So let's continue. OR is used by organizations of all sizes. This is very important. I can use these tools in small companies, medium companies, large companies, huge companies. I can use this method all the time. Include business across all industrial sectors, government and other public sector bodies, communities and even individuals. OR helps, helps inform strategic, tactical and operational decisions. So, that is the uh, greatest idea. We can use math to make better decisions. So I think it is wonderful because when I when we were younger, sometimes we 
learn about matrix, about logarithms, about complex numbers, and never I, I saw the applications with these expressions. Uh, I never, I never saw applications with matrix, logarithms. Is logarithm useful for my life? I, I think. And many times the teacher can't um, uh, can't explain about the applications. Uh, so now we can understand that we can apply math to make better decisions to help people, to help organizations, to help. So I think it, it is wonderful. I, I know why I'm studying these methods. So uh, we can imagine operational research like a huge umbrella. Because when I say, when I say operational research, I use mathematical models to make better decisions. So mathematical models is very, uh, we have many different models. So we have many different areas inside the operational research. So we can imagine the operational research like a big umbrella with many, many areas below it. For example, which criteria? Decision analysis, graph theory, discrete event simulation, Hewing theory, data science, statistics, and many other areas. But take care, we have many other areas. I, I show you a uh, few areas. We have many others like, like fuzz, fuzz logic is another area, like heuristics, heuristics, it is another area like, um, let me think, hold on, um, constraints theory, constraint theory, many, many other optimization, in many other areas. So uh, sometimes when we started to study operational research, we started from linear programming inside this area. Mathematical program inside this area, we have linear, linear programming. And then we learn about simplex method. And for example, I have I have had many students that they think uh, that operational research is linear programming on, on it. 
or simplex method only. But, but no, they are wrong. Operational research is a huge science, applied science, with many and many and many areas. Uh, linear programming, it is only a, a point, a dot, a dot in the ocean. So, uh, we, every work, we always work with these this models, complex models. Uh, usually these models is so hard and we need, uh, you, we need computer science to process the operations. So look, take a look. So uh, operational research, we can understand. We have mathematical models, and I need data to input in these models. Because without the data, I have nothing. I need data to input in these models, and I can I can uh, I can figure out the solution. But I think uh, always is very hard to calculate the results made by hand. So we need computer science to process the operations. And many times we need a thousand of operations to, to find the solution. So it's common to use computer science. Here, we need computer Computer science to process the results with the data and mathematical models. So with the computer science, I can I can figure out the solution. the results, and then make better decisions, better decisions. You see? You see where I come from? So, we need to think about these three columns, three, uh, three supports, mathematical models. First, when I, I talk about operational research, I think about mathematical models, but I need data inside these models and I need computer science. For example, I need to use Excel, I need to use uh, R, I need to use C, I need to use whatever you want in computer science to process the, the results. And usually, we have to, to make a million and millions and millions and millions of 
operation, math, mathematical operations to find the results. So the lovers need these three uh, points, mathematical models, developed mathematical models, data, and computer science. And here in Military Institute of Engineer, we have a research group that develop, develop software, develop systems that you can, you can find the result easily. This is the idea. Uh, like, like I said, these models, these operational research models, these models are so hard to work with them. So I work with my researchers, with my students, and we develop new systems, new softwares that you can uh, find, you can calculate the result from this method fast and easily. This is the great idea of my research group. So, and now you can ask me, Professor, who can study operational research? And I will, I will answer, everybody, everybody can study, everybody can use operational research. And uh, I'm, I'm answer from this, this book called Method of Operational Research. Uh, this man is Philip Morse. Philip Morse, in the end of the Second War, he wrote this book called Methods of Operational Research. And uh, and the, the, in this book, look what he, he said. It should be apparent by now that operations research work does not need to be a specialist in any particular branch of science. So look what he said does not need to be a specialist in any particular branch of science. So you can be a biologist, you can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, everybody can, can use, everybody can understand, everybody everybody can apply the operational research methods. So Philip Moss said, said that everybody can, everybody can use, understand and apply, apply operational research. And for example, I, I have, I have a friend, he, he is a psychologist, and he used graph theory to explain about, uh, about cognitive structure. So imagine, I think graph theory is one of the hardest area inside the operational research. It's so hard, it's so difficult area in operational research, graph theory. And he is psychologist. 
and he used graph theory. It's okay. I have another friend in Maynooth University in Ireland, and he is a biologist, and he works with so hard models with statistics. So everybody can use operational research. Operational research is a science that everyone can apply, can use, you know? So, and, and then I think if you are interested about le learn more, if you are interested, interested about learn more operational research, I suggest for you, I suggest this video called What is Operational Research? This, this video was made by the OR Society and I have this video in my YouTube channel, Operational Research House. This is a short video. It's, it is not boring. I think about 17 minutes. And there you can watch many different applications with operational research. In transports, supply chains, sports, governments, manufacturing, education, and many other areas. So this example can open your mind about the possibilities with the operational research. Then you can find this video in my YouTube channel, Operational Research. Uh, in Portuguese, in English is Operational Research House, but you can type in YouTube, Casa, uh, is uh, operation. This is the same meaning. Casa da Pesquisa Operacional and Operational Research House. You can type in YouTube, YouTube and you will find my channel and you can see this very, very interesting video with many applications. So I believe uh, that video will open your mind, your perception about the possibilities of operational research. So uh, that's it. This is my, my, my contacts, my phone number here in Brazil. And send me a SMS message, uh, WhatsApp, can send me. This is my email here in Military Institute of Engineer. You can send me a message with for everyone about academy, about operational research, about projects, about applications about methods. And here, if you scan this QR code with your smartphone, you can connect me with LinkedIn, you know? And uh, 
for me, it's a pleasure uh, to help you. Okay? And if you visited my, if you, if you want to visit it, my YouTube channel, you can see, you can see, I think, about 400 videos with many methods. And I explain the methods step by step, made by hand. I explain the first equation and second equation, third equation, step by step, made by hand. And sometimes I use, I use the software developed here in Military Institute of Engineer. Let me stop to share. Okay. So uh, in this YouTube channel, you can find, like I said, about, about 400 videos with explanations. So sometimes I explain the method step by step, uh, made by hand, first step, second step. And sometimes I, I explain about the use, about the software that our group, research group developed here in Military Institute of Engineer, many methods. So we have more than 20 software, I think more than 20. If, if you want to solve the, the method made by hand, it's impossible because you need a thousand operations. So we, we can use these softwares that we develop here in Military Institute of Engineer. And sometimes I, I invite big specialists in other areas, like, like I said, psychologists, biologists, doctors, and that they will show you, they will show you different applications in, in hospitals, in schools, in, I think. So, like I said, we have more than 400 videos with explanations about the methods step by step with the tutorial about the softwares that we develop here in Military Institute of Engineer. And, and sometimes I, I receive great, great specialists in, in a specific area. So that's it. Uh, in another opportunities, I will talk about complex systems. We have many subjects to talk about. We can talk about complex systems, about models, about measure of effectiveness, and many other subjects. So today, that's it. I hope you enjoy uh, enjoy this video and see you soon.